Good morning. Let's talk about bikes, traveling with bikes, bike racks, and service stands. Typically, when you travel with a bike, you pull up your destination. You uh, may have road grime uh, or uh, dust from a dirt road that you've traveled on on your bike. Maybe you want to just run through the gears, make sure everything's uh, ready to go for your ride. Uh, typically, the way that happens, you show up to your ride, you pull out the bike stand, you set it up, you put your bike on it, you do your service work, you uh, put the bike stand back in the car and get ready to go. So let's talk about perhaps a simpler way. Here's a, uh, a standard bike rack, showed up for a ride. We're going to take that, move it out to the front a little bit, release the rear wheel, hold up the other arm. Lift the bike and engage it, and it is now ready for service. We can run through the gears, check the brakes, any of those kinds of things because the rear is now up and ready to be serviced. When I'm completed my job with that, simply release the front, lift the bike, we're ready to ride. So we saw the long wheelbase bike and how easy that was to adapt. Let's look at a short wheelbase bike. This is a, obviously a road bike. We need to be able to work with those as well. As we can see, it's very easy then to set up this bike to be serviceable as well. And in fact, just about any wheelbase bike could be adapted to fit on this without moving the actual device. All the same position. So let's talk details of how this works. This is obviously the uh, little adapter. It could be uh, adapted as such like this as an addition, but uh, the very first incarnation that I did was simply to add a little piece right here that stuck out and held the end of the bike. So you know, changing this molding or something similar to that uh, accomplishes the task very simple very easy without any kind of uh, uh, you know, difficulty or cost or not a significant cost but let's look at how it works you've got a cradle here the the shape of that is uh, not uh, um, too critical I suppose uh, but there are some critical natures of this uh, with the angles and so on that it sits at but this is how it works for this bike it's really easy to set it on the outside of the frame like this for some bikes that may not have a good skewer or something on the backside, setting it on the inside, just inside the frame, allows that action. Every wheel, or almost every wheel, has a space there sufficient for that to go. I have not found a wheel that is a standard wheel that uh, does not do that. So, uh, you know, making the uh, incarnation like so keeps it so that uh, you can service the bike regardless of what type of uh, uh, adaptation is needed. A third adaptation, which I don't have uh, prototyped here, would be to hold it by the frame itself. That might be a little more difficult in some bikes because uh, there are so many different variations of the frame itself. But uh... We've shown one variation, preferred embodiment, as they like to talk about it, uh, adding the device to the arm, the second arm. But what if you don't have the ability to do that? Or what if the spacing on the rack is not quite correct for that? So there is another very simple adaption that I uh, have also used. Um, we'll show that here. As you can see, it's a simple rod that comes up. In this case, it uh, actually goes in the same bolt that was used for the back uh, uh, piece. But it does exactly the same thing holds the bike up in position where it can be serviced. And again, it's very easy to adapt to any wheelbase simply by uh, adjusting it to the right position. So we've talked about two different uh, embodiments of this mechanism. Uh, one which is uh, attached to an existing portion of the uh, bike rack. Another which is attached separately and acts in basically the same way to lift the back of the bicycle so that it can be serviced. That allows you to uh, work on cranks, chains, drivetrain, derailers, uh, any of those kinds of things. Do a little cleaning. 
the addition of this mechanism to any bike rack system is going to be a benefit to the end customer. Though they may not use it every time, it is definitely something that they will use uh, from time to time, and it is so simple and easy. It keeps them from having to carry an additional service stand. It uh, also differentiates the product, if this is on your bike rack system, so that uh, it gives you an additional element to sell. Additionally, from a manufacturing standpoint, this is a fairly simple addition. It's not a costly addition. It doesn't add a lot of parts and that kind of thing. As you can see, the way that I've implemented as a add-on, it does add several parts, but if you integrate it into the main design of the bike rack, it becomes much less expensive and will look a whole lot better. Some things to think about. Let me know if there's something here that is of interest and we can talk more.